Hey, this is Chris with Vid Society, and in this video, I'm going to do a Word AI review for you. Now, previously, the other day, I'd done a review on a product called Article Forge, and if you haven't seen that yet, click the box link above, and it'll take you to that video where you can watch it. Uh, it's a great tool for creating human readable articles that are unique that you can use for blog content. And now what I'm gonna do in this video is show you Word AI, which is a tool that integrates with Article Forge to import these articles, and then you can spin them into more unique articles. Uh, but there's a lot more to it than that. You don't have to use Article Forge to use Word AI, in fact, Lots of times what I do is I will just go to search engines, Google, Bing, Yahoo, any of those, and I will do a search on a particular topic. I will open up maybe five different websites. I will copy the content from those pages, paste it in this box, and just let Word AI rewrite it for me into completely unique content. Now, I am extremely impressed with the quality of how well all this works together, even after it spins it. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Now, below in the description, I'll have links where you can get free trials of both Word AI and Article Forge if you wanna try them out for yourself. All right, so let's jump in here. Okay, so here we are in Word AI. Now, just like Article Forge, it is super simple. There's only a few options that you have. You can rewrite articles, which is the page I'm on right now. You can view your saved articles. You can bulk rewrite articles you can get access to their api uh, you can see your usage information here and then they also have an affiliate program you can use if you want to promote this product okay so what you want to do first is if you have article forge you're going to see here where it says import from article forge and if you click on it it's going to let you sync it up you have to put your email address and then the api key from your article forge account into here and then that will link those two together and once you do that, you can click on this button and you can choose to use an existing article you've already uh, created on Article Forge, or you can create a new article. So for this example, we're just gonna create a new article. Okay, so when you do that, this box pops up and you're gonna enter a keyword, some sub keywords, and select your options for the article, just like you do on Article Forge. So for the keyword, let's just do, for example, uh, website SEO and then for sub keywords we can do optimize website well we better not do that that might confuse it just a little bit uh, we'll do website SEO we'll do link building and then maybe SEO software so this here is actually really neat because what it's going to do is it's going to take this and use it as your main keyword for the topic of the article and then it's going to take these to use as subcontent in the article so you could even do something like how to website seo and then what it's going to try to do is create an article based on how to do website search engine optimization and then it's going to use your sub keywords as the answers and it's going to take content based upon these keywords to provide the answers in the article so for the article length, we're going to do around 750. We're going to have it add a title, an image, and a video. And remember, any of this, if for some reason we don't like an article, we can edit it even. So we're going to go ahead and turn all these on and click Create a New Article. Now when you do this, you're going to have to give it a couple minutes to, to create the article. I'm going to pause the video until it's done. All right, so it took about three minutes, and it's created this article for us. It says, How to Website SEO for Local Search. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna read through just some of these paragraphs here, or just a little bit of it, to kind of give you an idea of, of the quality of this article that Article Forge created for us. It says, how to website SEO is not as simple as it sounds. The way we used to do things when we wanted to own a site is to hire a professional SEO company to help us out. But what is the most effective way to go about it? Do you really have to pay hundreds of dollars for the best SEO software program in order to optimize your site? Or can it be done on your own with only a few simple steps? This sounds really good. It sounds like somebody wrote it. We have an image here that's on topic. It's, it's related to it. Uh, down here, we have a lot more content and you can read through some of this here if you want to. Better yet, sign up for the free trial and just, and just create one of these for yourself and, and look at it. Uh, and they also added a video to it. Now, what we can do is we can take this article and we can spin it into more articles. 
So maybe you're wanting to use it for SEO software. Maybe you're wanting to use it uh, to create just a bunch of different articles on your website. Maybe you do mass web page building. Any of that stuff you can use these for. So what we can do, we can rewrite this article. And down here you have a few options. You can be more conservative. Um, I don't usually use this because it, it'll change the text but not as much as I like. But if you keep it on regular, it does change a lot of the text and it still sounds really good. Uh, more adventurous, it's going to change a lot more words. Uh, here and there it may not quite sound as good. So we'll just go ahead and rewrite it two times and click rewrite. Okay, so here is the article that it rewrote for us. You can see unique scores 92%. And of course, we can go in here and we can edit any of this on either side before we spin it or after spin it. And you have options where you can just edit the article and do what you want. Uh, over here, you can copy it. This here is automatically on. It says highlight unchanged phrases. I've never even seen this uh, show up before because nothing's ever not been highlighted. You can export it or, or save them. And when you save them, it saves it over here in your articles. But you can see here, let's scroll to the top. And what it done is if you highlight this text on this side, you can see what it is on the original article. So on the left side, it says how to website SEO is not as simple as it sounds. And it spun it into it is not easy to do website SEO. That actually sounds better than the original article because um, when I use the keyword, I use the keyword how to website SEO, which really doesn't sound that good. So it actually corrected it and it sounds better. And then it says, the way we used to do things when we wanted to own a site is to hire a professional SEO company to help us out. Now, if we come over here, it says, when we first wanted to have a website, we hired a professional SEO company. So you can see how it changes it. It takes words out. It'll mix up the words. It'll replace them. But it sounds just as good or even if not better than the original article. Let's see what the second article sounds like. We'll go down here and click number two. It says here, website SEO isn't as easy as it sounds. So that's what it replaced it with, uh, with this one. And then over here on, on the right hand side, it says, we used to go about things when we wanted to build a site. This was by hiring a professional SEO company. So obviously the more times you spin the article, the more times it has to rewrite it and use different words but it still sounds really good. It's not taking certain words and replacing them with other words that just don't make sense, which is what most spinning tools do. Uh, so this is Word AI and, and this is exactly what it does. Now, over here on the left-hand side, you have the option to also bulk rewrite. So if I click this, there's directions here on how you can bulk import to add articles in batches. It says you can upload a CSV or a zip file with your articles. It gives you examples of what's accepted, what's not, how many times you want to rewrite it. And then down here you can choose uh, how you want it to be rewritten. Click rewrite and that's all you have to do and you can have a ton of articles rewritten for you. Now the API, if we go over here, uh, it says how does the API work? how do you return spin tax and then it goes over the uh, documents and the information here you can read over the usage information shows you how much you've used it now is there a limit on this to how much you can use it i could not find an answer to this anywhere online so i emailed them and i got a reply back within about an hour and i'll let you read that okay so here's the email that i sent them i said what's my usage limits on word ai i don't see a help section or knowledge base with this info and they replied and they said, hi, thank you for reaching out. You can currently create up to 3 million rewritten words per month with a standard subscription. If you need more words than that, you can purchase them at a rate at $2 per 10,000 words. In addition, usage is calculated based on a number of words in the input as well as the number of rewrites you select. We will be updating our knowledge base with this information shortly. So if we come back here and if we click on usage info and if you scroll clear to the bottom, you're going to see an option down here that says usage settings and it says don't allow me to go over my limit. And if this is set as this, you're never going to go over that limit of what was it, 3 million rewritten words. It'll basically stop you from that so you don't go over. But if you choose to allow me to go over my limits, 
It says here, by changing this setting, you're giving us permission to charge your account at $2 per 10,000 words for anything over that. So if you think you're going to be going over 3, 000, or 3 million rewritten words a month, um, you can either choose to allow this to do more or, or you can just keep it as off so you don't have to worry about it. But this is Word AI combined together with Article Forge. They are amazing tools. But to go a step further, just remember you don't even have to use Article Forge to use Word AI. If you're just looking for a spinning tool you can use to create articles for, you can go to Google and just do some research for a, a topic. You can copy the text paste it in here and have it rewritten and that's the next thing that i want to show you okay so here we are at google i'm just going to go in here and we're just going to put website seo for ranking and we're going to scroll down and i'll go ahead and just open up a few of these links here hopefully we'll find some really good content and what i can do is i can just take this part and copy it We'll go back and paste it in here. And then we'll go to the next one and maybe take, uh, I don't want that part, scrolling down here. These are just, we'll go to, that's an SEO analyzer. Okay, here we go. Uh, we can maybe do, and I don't like that either. Ah, here we go. Okay, high quality content. This is a good section. Let's just take this, and it wants to copy too much of it. There we go, and we'll go back and paste it. Now, let's say this is what I want my article to be. Obviously, I can come in here and change this title to my a specific keyword if I want to, especially if I'm posting this on my own WordPress website, and then I want to rewrite it. So I'll just leave it as one click rewrite and we'll give it a second okay so here we go it says a website or URLs ranking for keywords or keyword combinations varies from search engine to search engine on the right hand side it says the search engines that rank websites or URLs for keyword combinations or keywords can vary from one search engine to the next I like the spun version better than the original uh, let's go on down to this paragraph here you can see it changed this title. Good rankings are a good source of traffic. It changed it to traffic can be derived from good rankings. And then the first sentence here, the point of good rankings in the search results is to gain as much traffic as possible from the organic search channel. Over here, it says good rankings and search results are important to get as much organic search traffic as possible. So once again, the spun article, in my opinion, sounds better than the original article. Um, it says on the left side, high quality content is at the core of SEO success. On the right, it says SEO success is all about high quality content. And so uh, once this is done, you can just copy this and you can paste it in your blog and have an article within just a matter of a couple minutes, a good high quality article that adds information to your site based upon your specific topic or niche that you copy the content from uh, when you've done a search for it on Google. And so this is how I get a ton of my content for my websites, for my blogs, uh, because even though you're taking that content from another website, you're rewriting it, you're making it, you can see up here, it's 87% unique compared to the original article. And so it's going to rank really well. Uh, lots of times what I will do, in fact, when I make my reviews, uh, for, on vidsociety.com or a lot of my other websites I have is I will take this content and I will make um, a review page for a particular product and then I, I won't put a whole lot of content on there maybe just a summary and the pricing uh, and, and the benefits of it that I might even take from the actual sales page of the product but then after that I will take content like this here and just copy it all and paste it at the bottom as like additional content an additional article they can read uh, but mostly it's for search engines to help it to rank better and so that's what I use these tools for now for years I've used spinrewriter.com for this uh, this point forward I'm going to be using word AI just because it is like next level spinning content uh, of, of just making a content so readable 
and really, really good. So that's it for Word AI. So once again, I will put the links below this video. Try it out for free. Go down there and click on the links. You can try Article Forge for free, I think for five days. Uh, and Word AI, I think you can try it free for three days. And, and try it yourself. Put in some articles, put in some content, and just see how good the quality really is of it. But that's it for this Word AI review. If you guys like these types of reviews, uh, when I really get into detail and show you how all this stuff works, then please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and be sure to click that bell. That way I will notify you when I do upload new videos.